Okay, so I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, this is so, so pretty. This is Benefit's new blush. That's right, it's a blush. I suspect this might just be an overspray, which makes me really, really sad. This is Dandelion Gold and they've released this as part of their Lunar New Year. By the way, it's available right now in Germany. I have to say a massive thank you to Makeup on Your Radar. I stole their pictures. Let's discuss this one. The thing is, right, on first inspection, I look at this and kind of go, oh, oh, you're really pretty. You're glowy, you're orangey. There's almost like an element of like duochrominess. And then when you see the shade almost smashed out, you start to say, oh, it's just dandelion. Once it's like the overspray is almost gone because it looks like it's an overspray. And then the love for this dissipates. I think this had such potential to be really, really interesting. Like if they had actually legitimately managed to make it really, really glowy and had that kind of go throughout, but it looks like it is just an overspray, which makes me so, so sad. I really like Benefit's products, particularly when it comes to their face and powder products. Their blushes, their bronzers, their highlighters tend to be incredibly good. But this, I don't know... It just feels like a repackaged dandelion and I'm kind of sad. Like seriously, Benefit, if, if it is like that way throughout the entire pan, I, I, I would be delighted. I would love that. I think that's beautiful. But based upon the way that they've spread out that sort of pan and smashed it out, it does look like it's just an overspray. In which case, how is this different? How is this different to anything that you've done before? Like there's something about this that feels like it's a mixture between like uh, Nars's Orgasm and Milani's Luminoso, which is interesting to me. However, like, I just don't know how this is going to work or if it's just like, oh, I'll get a couple of really nice wears out of it and then the overspray is gone and then, <sighs> la sigh. The thing is, I love this idea in principle. If it looked this way throughout, I'd be like, yes, I'm here for it. Get me 50 million of them. No, that's ridiculous. Who needs 50 million of a blush? That's silly. Right? I'd definitely get one if it looked like that throughout. However, I am so incredibly suspicious. I need somebody else to try this because I am going to be better with my money this year. That's what I've decided. So I need somebody to try this for science to determine is this an overspray? Because it looks like one. And you're not going to fool me, Benefit. You've taken enough of my money over the years. I will not be fooled. Like, I know they can do this. I know they could do this really, really well. So, like, I think it's just more I'm like, I'm I'm annoyed. I'm a bit disappointed if it is an overspray. But if it isn't, then put me down for one. Anyways, I, I, who knew I was going to say overspray so many times in this video? Overspray. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with me or are you just like, no, Tracy, you're being silly. In which case, totally fine.